Um, today I thought I'd do a voiceover intro rather than a face-to-face, -face, only because I've got so many things going on and setting up all the green screen stuff was going to be a bit too much work. So um, I just thought I'd share this quick video with you. Um, I've tried to condense this as much as I can because the actual video was about an hour and a half long, so I've been able to sort of cut it down and speeding forwards as and where I need to. Uh, so hopefully you'll enjoy this video. Um, give a bit, a bit of a background. It was during it was a live stream I did during a landmark growth on my on my YouTube channel, and it was out of celebration of that. And basically, what I did was I took some of uh, the at the drawing app from Jazza, the uh, I think party RC party app. I can't remember the name of the actual app. Um, I will put some details in the description below, but it's an app that he generated that allows you to have random prompts to help you come up with ideas or have a bit of fun. So this video is basically based on that. Um, there will be a part two to it because I haven't really completely finished the drawing, but I, I know that there hasn't been a lot of content on my channel and I want to make sure that I'm getting back into the swing and getting stuff out there for you. So I do hope you enjoy it. If you do, be sure to give it a thumbs up so that uh, it helps support the channel and lets people know that you, you, know, you, you and others like to see this kind of content. So it helps the channel greatly. And if you're new or you've been around for a while, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn the notification on so you don't miss future episodes of this. In particular, part two of this one once I've finished the drawing. But um, other than that, enjoy. And until next time, I'll catch you later. Bye-bye. Right, so um, welcome, welcome to Earth Dragon Art. Um, this video, this particular live stream, is based off the fact that recently I just and out of celebration, I thought I'd come on and do a live stream um, where I just do a random drawing, uh, a big epic drawing for the stream. So thank you for everybody that's subscribed, liked, shared, and all the video. And I'm going to be using the Jazza app. Uh, uh, Jazza RT Games app, which um, as some of you may know, you know, ideas for creating your own piece of artwork. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. And so I don't know what's going to come of it. And I won't just choose the first one that comes on. I'm going to, I'm going to scroll through them until I find again. I don't know. I know I did a spaceship last time. Um, I still need to line it out. So that's something I've got to come go, coming forwards. Um, Okay, um, I was going to do something else, another recording, but I think um, I'm overloading the system, so I'm going to stop this one and come out of this Hang on. today. Um, now, if there are people here today and you want me to try something uh, around and join as well, feel free to put notes in the comments or say hi, because I'll just ignore it. Just to make you aware. Okay, um, now, it is really being fun, which is not encouraging. It seems to be alright. Okay. Alright, so I am going to mute this. Oops. Somehow. Seems to be alright. Alright, let's do this way. So that I've got my phone on the whole time. And one last thing I'm going to do before I get going is I'm going to plug the phone in because I don't want to die halfway through. So I'm going to do that. Okay. Uh, yeah. Thing, if I hear the ice cream man coming past, and I know the, the sound that this particular one makes, I do need to pop out briefly um, because uh, I certainly want to do for a future project. So um, you will need to bear with me on that. So we'll be off for five minutes. Hopefully it won't be during the stream. But if it is, bear with me on that. But I'll put a little note to say I'll be back in five minutes. Okay. Right. So let's have a look at you. Right. Let's get my jazz app. Okay, right. So the single game. And we'll do both. Uh, okay, that's one. Oh, 60 minutes. Right, okay, good. I got you. And we do no no time limit on this one. And go. let's see what we have. So the first one is a jail cell that has peeling wallpaper and features a stretcher. Hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, I'm not quite sure now. That would be interesting. Oh, this one sounds interesting. A nuclear power plant which has several trapdoors inside and features a bowl of cat food. Now that's really, really random. Let me just try and show you that on the camera. That is really random. So I think that one sounds fun. So let's do that one. Let's put this out of the way so it doesn't fall off my, my table. And let's get let's get smoking. Let's make some space. Okay, so we want our softest pencil, which I need to sharpen. So in case you weren't, if in case you missed the clue, it's a nuclear power plant um, featuring a, a bowl of cat food. So let's let's see what we come up with. And hopefully the stream won't crash out. All right. So nuclear. In fact, let me um. Let me get an image of a nuclear power plant so that I can better have an idea. So. Yeah. We are uh, uh, okay. These, okay, here we go. I'll we'll shift this over here so it's out of the way. Okay, so there's the there's my bowl, there's my cat. Yumming down the food. Eyes closed. Body. Okay. Our plants first of all have these big chimney things. In one picture, this big bulb, bulb thing, whatever. I probably won't make this into a full, a full exciting drawing. There's some trees here. Just plotting this out at the moment. To see where things are going. Um, I think here. But if I make that there, let me move these over the other side. So I'm going to knock them off. Um, and then we've got little silo type things here. So hopefully you can see the stream okay. Um, please feel free to to say hi in chat or suggest our ideas for later on. Um, but, uh, at the moment, I'm doing a nuclear power plant with a cat eating cat food. <laughs> so uh, we'll take it from there at the moment. Right. So let's get this cat sorted on it. It's going to be the most... Um, Prominent feature. So the cat yumming on the food. And in case you didn't hear earlier, the reason I'm doing this house 
So I do hope you enjoyed this random art drawing thing. Uh, I don't know how it's going to turn out. It's a bit... Doing it during drawing lives is a lot different than drawing it separately. Because if all the cameras, all things all set up and all on the sides, it's, so it is kind of awkward. Can be kind of awkward. I think the cat's too big. We'll sort it out. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Get close into the thing. This is the cat food there. Do, 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 do. Let's say all I'm doing at this stage is just plotting it out so we know where we're going. So let me click on this picture a second uh, to get a better view of it. We've got these little silo things here. So I'm not going to make this too detailed, this one, because I'm not going to ink it in. Normally I would ink these things in, but one, the one that came up second, the option that came on the Jazzer up second was, um, was the most interesting of the two. But there is another one I did uh, last time. This is round, round four, um, and it was a spaceship. And that one came out really well, but... Um, I kind of need to do a bit more work on that one. I want to kind of finish that at some, at some stage, but because of the other projects I've got going at the moment, I have to put that one on hold until I've done it. But once I've, once I've done that project and I've inked it in, then I'll be able to um, share that with you. This is some garden path type deal. Little grass area there. And there's another. So I'm just picking random buildings from this, from the reference I've got here. For a nuclear power plant, it's not so enough I draw every day. So we'll have this chimney. So this chimney's here. But we've got a crow in it like they're doing in the Simpsons. <laughs> there's a little crow there. Yeah. For those who are here, thanks for joining. I hope you hope you enjoy the stream so far. Okay, and The Arty app, though, if you're not aware of it, is um, created by a guy called Jazza, who used to have a channel called Draw Jazza, in case you don't know. And basically what it does is it gives you random options, particularly if you've got like a writer's block or just fancy something to do something different. Uh, you basically click on, choose one of the games on it, and it gives you different random ideas, which is quite helpful, A, for just a bit of fun, but also, you know, to, to push you in ways you wouldn't, because sometimes you... We can draw the same things every single time and then um, and then get bored very easily. I think, well, what do I need to draw? What can I draw today? Well, if you draw the same thing you draw every day, you, you, won't, you won't be inspired to draw something new. Whereas if you keep adding new things to your repertoire, you know, the new ideas and new visions and different bits and pieces, you start to actually be more creative with what you're doing. I know, I know I'm certainly finding that with my art, artwork and my art style. Um, I've been learning the last few years how to draw superheroes. Not something I would normally do, to be honest. Um, I normally just stick with creatures and sci-fi ships and stuff like that. But learning superheroes has really pushed me to learn my anatomy and really get better at poses. And, and I even learned from that um, that... You know, when I do do my poses, do do my character drawings, whether it's a cartoon or not, I always kind of do the same kind of pose. Whereas if you, you know, you actually try and do superheroes, and you look at, it, I start to recognise, oh, and these are these poses are the same. And I see other people's poses like they're very different, they're very random, and it made me realise that I, I need to be more creative and, and try different. These characters at different angles and different shapes and doing more dynamic things. 
So it's, it's always good to keep, you know, developing your style, developing your um, your abilities, you know, trying different things. And that's what's good about the app is that you, it, it, forces, it can forces you to draw something you wouldn't normally draw. So I personally think it's, it's well worth it. If you, if you can get hold of it, uh, it's well worth it. But, you know, I'm not, I'm not promoting it. I'm not, um, what's the word? I'm not sponsored or anything like that. So I'm not, it's totally up to you. But it's just something I'm, I find particularly for something like this, it's quite handy. And this cat is too big. This cat is too, too big. In fact, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to scrap this little cat and I'm going to do it totally differently. And I'll explain more. It's too good. Let's do a light one. I'm going to make the cap really small one over here. The bowl is over here. There's enough in the center the cap needs to be big. <laughs> Just said that there had to be a bowl of uh, cat food, so the cat food is right there. <laughs> All right, that's good because now it gives me a bit more room to add more details on on the um, on the nuclear plant. In fact, I can even do. Oh, what do you think? Should we, should we do? Should we do gold and put one here, right in the foreground. Actually, that's not a bad idea, actually. So now we've got... We've now given the picture a bit more three, three dimensions. We've made it a bit more three-dimensional. Because so I think that helps a bit as well. All right. So how are we going to wear this next bit? So in fact, I'm going to change pencils now. Change to a slightly harder pencil and start. Now you'll notice that I'm going up, even though there's trees here, I'm going over the trees. I made this mistake at school, in it very clearly exactly what we were doing. Because everybody else seemed to do it one way, and I was doing only person doing it a different way. And basically, long story short, is when I was drawing the image, I was I was drawing literally in drawing what was in between the trees, so what you could see through it drawing it separately. Um, the problem with doing that is you don't get things into perspective. You, you, you know, you don't layer things properly because you can always draw over it and it covers it up anyway, but you always have to kind of place things first before you actually um, finish your artwork. Otherwise, it, it just looks it just looks lopsided. When you, when you, when you draw, so if I, for example, if I drew this tree and then try to draw that as behind it as if I, as if I can't see this bit, it'll end up being disjointed and wobbly and not, not fit right. But if I drew it this way first, I can actually make it make sure that it fits and it looks right. And then when I actually fine line it and put all the more detail, that's when you start to, um, you know, really give, can start to make sure that this shows up more in the picture than the picture behind it. I'm probably not making much sense. It will make more sense once I um, get closer to it. It definitely helps to draw through it because it makes sure that everything fits. Yeah, and unfortunately, I had a massive argument with that teacher as well because um, I did try to ask when I realised I wasn't doing it quite right. I did try to ask her so I could confirm it, and she didn't want to accept it. Well, well, she just told me off, and when I tried to explain to her that, well, you told me that you said it was okay to do it this way, 
She said, no, I didn't. She told me off about it. And I know full well that she, what she said to me. And she was very dismissive when I asked her, which was quite, dis, you know, again, very discouraging. You know, when you, when you realise you're doing something wrong, you're asking for clarification and the teacher doesn't even pay attention. But when they realise you've done it wrong, they're starting to look at you as if it's your fault. And when you try to remind them, well, actually, no, you said to do that. <laughs> It's not helpful. So, yeah. Yeah. Right, you can probably start to see the uh, nuclear plants start to show up now. Uh, hopefully the stream is still going a bit smoother this time. See what I'm doing? One little thing as well that I found helpful is when I'm doing like um like ladders or whatever, if I put the top, middle, bottom and do divide each box each time, I tend to get more even steps as opposed to just going line, 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 line. You can do it that way, but um this way it tends to be just a bit easier because you know it's more or less. In the center each time. This is just something I've technique I've learned to do. But the thing about any kind of art is you've got to find out what works for you. Um, I'll give you an example. There's an artist I watch. Um, I'm not going to say her name here, but um, there's an artist I watch sometimes, and she hasn't been on stream for a while, at least not on that. Uh, which is where she usually is. And she does a very different <clears throat> way of tricky on character drawing. And she would basically draw a very scrappy, I mean, the roughest of rough drawings. And yet she managed, uh, I mean, as she goes into it and develops it, that's when she starts to, you know, um, detail everything, <clears throat> put the information in there and make it look... Um, Make it look realistic or whatever. And it uh, starts off, it literally just squiggles, like really rough, random squiggles that just don't, to the naked eye, don't make any sense. To her, it makes complete sense. But anyone looking at it, it's like, what are you doing? But it's only when she gets through to a certain point, you think, oh, that's what you're doing. Wow, now I understand. And it's pretty incredible, really. But that and that style worked for her, but it won't work for somebody else. And I've tried the old, um, you know, uh, the stick man approach, and that doesn't always work for me. But at the same time, I've learned a slightly different way of doing it, which kind of works as well. So there's always there's always a you know another way to do something that works for you. But um. What I would say, so if you're a new new artist and you're new to drawing, or you, you know, you've not really done it before, um, try the different techniques that people are saying, um, but don't try them to the point where you, you, you're trying to make them work and they don't work for you. If they don't work for you, find a different way, because because not every technique works for every single person. Um, I'm learning that for myself, and I've had to change and adapt the way I do it. But I think with this particular girl that does it that way, I think that works for me generally, that whole doing it super, super rough and then um, like, like really scratchy or whatever. And then as you get through it, you just refine it. And I think that that technique is a very, very good technique for me. Okay. But for others, it might confuse the heck out of you. Hope the fan noise in the background isn't bothering you guys. Now these trees look more like fire, but then they do trees. But again, I'm just still just plotting things out. Working out where everything goes. So when I get to the point where I really, really start detailing it, that's where it's all going to change, you know?
Tree. These trees feel a bit out of place now, <laughs> on reflection. In case um, you are just joining, um, what I'm doing is um, Jazza has an app called the RC Games app, uh, which is a random art generator, and I'm using that as to celebrate my 60th uh, um, uh, subscription on my channel, which is an amazing landmark um, for me. I know it's not breaking the internet or anything like that, but for me and my channel, that's that's been a real achieve, you know, effort to get to that point. Even getting to 50 was tough. So getting to um, getting to this level was particularly, you know, encouraging. So in celebration, I'm doing this live stream using that, that app to come up with a random picture. And this particular one was a nuclear power plant featuring um, a bowl of cat food, which is right here. I was going to do it really big over here, but it just looked weird. So I'll just put it in there instead, really tiny, and just focus on, on that. But that's the beauty of this challenge is you can do whatever you like with it. You can make it fun or not fun, whatever. It's completely up to you. And um, all things going well, I'm, I'm halfway through meeting, getting to 70 as well, which is amazing. I mean, it was a struggle getting to 50. So to be half, well, almost halfway to getting the 70 point, that is pretty incredible as well. And I just want to, you know, for those that have subbed, if you are new, whether you're new or you've been around a while, you are one of the people that subbed, I do want to thank you very, very much uh, for making this channel starting to grow and, and develop. Because I'm trying to make it into something, um, not necessarily all live streams, because I don't want to do live streams all the time. And as you can probably tell from the earlier attempt, so even though I've got decent connection, it doesn't seem to be good enough for this um, for doing these sort of streams and stuff, which is a bit of a shame. But um, hopefully, 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 you know, I'll be able to get work it out and get a much better stream and have the both cameras working. Because uh, YouTube doesn't seem to YouTube or OBS seem to struggle to get that to work. And as for OBS Studio, that that's complete. Waste of time. That doesn't even that doesn't even seem to respond. It just uses eats up all of my PC power, unfortunately. Otherwise, I'd use OBS Studio as an alternative. But anyway, you know it, things are all what they are. Can't really do much. So, a bit of artistic license getting these extra bones in there. I mean, maybe one day I'll use this picture for something else. I don't know. I'm not planning to. <clears throat> right. So how about you? Let me see if I can get a bigger picture of the hoops. Try to get my face out of the way, you don't see my, uh, my mouth and everything. Oh, right, so, okay. So. So I don't know how much of these I'm going to do. But you know what? If if I do meet the 70, what I might, and I don't finish this, maybe on the 70 a stream, I will finish this piece. But I don't know how, I don't know how long. It really does depend. I'm not stressing too much. I mean, this is going to be a you know, technically a throwaway drawing, so I'm not going to worry too much about accuracy. It's just more about having fun with it, doing something different, and, join, and thanking you guys. Oh, hi. Hi, Janice. How are you doing? Thanks for jumping in. 
apologise if if you've been if you met your message there for a while. Hope you're good. Oh, it's all these little houses, little chimneys in the background. Let me just um, do that to make sure they're in proportion as much as I can. I haven't got to see your video yet, Jay, so um, I will come back to you on that. All right, so half there. I say, if you do make a uh, comment um, or say hi, whatever, don't don't if I, I don't respond straight away. Please don't think I'm ignoring you. It's just getting used to checking the chat, making sure I'm um, seeing the messages when they come up. Okay. Let's put another little building here. I'm just filling out the space a bit more, making this drawing as interesting as I can. I mean, drawing, let's be fair, drawing uh, nuclear power plants isn't the most exciting image in the world. Um, you got to do, sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. Seems to the shapes of the buildings of these on these things. So there's the landscape. See now I've got the more idea where where the uh, horizon line is. So I think the horizon is going to be somewhere somewhere there. So you got the clouds up here. All right. It's just used to have to nice and quick big road here where the vehicles are going to come in from. Um, I'm going to add a helipad here, I think. Listen, sometimes you might need that if uh, there's emergency services around. All right, it's starting to develop. I don't know if you can see how well you can see that. Um, I see it. But it's starting, to, it's starting to take shape. It's starting to take a bit of shape. So we're going to go to the next level now. So we'll start with these buildings down here. Now, one thing I will say is with these, um, with these pencils, the softer the pencil, in fact, this one is a sharpen one, actually. The softer the pencil, find the easier it is to sketch. So that's just something that's, that's going to be there. This set of pencils were given me as a birthday present a couple of years back. Um, 
Now, I, I'm not that keen on the girl wins, to be perfectly honest. I don't, you know, after using them, I'm not sold on them. But, you know, I'm grateful, definitely grateful. Because pencils, ticky, ticky, pencils in general, I don't really need to, so many. But pencils that are different thicknesses and things like that, that's something I didn't really have, or many of. The ones, the ones I did have, they've all gone. So, so it was kind of good to have, a, a, you know, additional additional sets of pencils. So I am grateful. But, um, but yeah, but the softer the pencil, the easier it is to um, actually shape things and mold mold your um, mold your artwork around. Oops. We've got the right shape. In fact, I can even put some shading on this now. It's only shading to just so I know where where it's going to go. But if you are, you know, doing any kind of art, one thing always to remember is don't go, don't um, go straight into drawing masses of detail. Make sure your picture looks right first. Get through these different stages before you get there, because because the worst thing is when you when you do a drawing, you finish it, and you initially like it because you've done all that work on it and you're happy with it. But then when you look back on it and you see what it looks like and you, you see the flaws in it because you haven't taken the time to to make sure everything fits correctly, you can actually discourage yourself because you end up thinking, oh, I just haven't quite got it. And the arm looks wrong, the head looks wrong, or the house looks crooked. So you do need to take little bits of time out to make sure that you're, you're putting everything together properly. Hope I'm not talking too much. Um, if I am, uh, just let me know. I'll, I'll shut up. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, just trying to keep, you know, I want to try to keep this at least entertaining. Because not everybody likes watching artwork. At least not for too long anyway. Are you not entertained? I mean, this could be quite a good um, background for a comic or something, or a comic book story. In fact, you know what else is quite helpful with this, is it, handy with this drawing is, well, it, if you're somebody that struggles with um, doing backgrounds and things like this, doing something like this can push you a little bit. Because again, you're going out of your comfort zone, and you're having to think, well, well, how can I do this? I didn't know how this was going to turn out. I didn't know how I was going to, you know, sign and draw this one. I really didn't. It's only through doing it that I come up with the, you know, the scope and everything, how this should be. So it's good to, it's good to um, challenge yourself in that way. So we've had our first half an hour on the, on the stream, so that's pretty good. I do appreciate you guys for sticking around. Right, now this time I'm going to just make sure the trees here are just um, a bit more prominent in front. So we'll start to ignore the fact that they're behind. So I'm not going to draw through going forwards. So now it doesn't look quite so like a flame like it did earlier. I 
I do hope you can see this. And I just realized I was meant to record it on the other camera. I completely forgot to turn it on. Whoops. Sorry. All right, so that's the bottom bit there. I mean, to be honest, I don't normally draw this big. Most most drawings, I don't usually do it on this large scale, but but because of the stream. Uh, I thought it'd be better to do on a bigger bit of paper. So uh, it's easier for you guys to see what I'm doing. But as a rule, I don't usually do it on a on such a large piece. Definitely filling out a little bit more. The trees aren't looking quite so bad now, they're not, not looking quite so horrible. Because I wasn't completely sold on them at first. But they are getting there. This is the branches. How's everybody doing, by the way? All right, so trying to show cut this curve and get the light shining in the sun a bit, a bit clearer, isn't it? So you can see all the funnels and the trees and little dome and stuff like that. So it's starting to starting to creep into view. Now, um, so I'm trying to do this without going in this camera. I had to buy a really cheap mouse uh, recently, and it's actually a bit, bit pain, a bit awkward to use. So I have to click right just to get it to to activate it and move, which is a, kind of annoying. What can I do? Oh, wow. I was hoping uh, there's an image of a dome, and I was kind of hoping that it would be a bit easier to see. What about this one? Let me have a look. Uh, new tab. No, some of these images are tiny. Sorry about this. All right, I'll just have to improvise. What I was trying to do is try to see the closer detail of what it looks like. Oops. 
you know that there's a funny little lad on the front of this? Can we flip it around a little bit easier? And there's the other part of the letter. Now, just for the sake of the show, we'll do this way briefly. But as I said, it's easier to break it down the other way to make sure all the spacing will be even. All right. Let's do dom. In fact, we'll do this as well. As if it's got like a little hatch at the top. It probably does have some sort of hatch. And I dare say there are panels. On this thing to separate the pieces, so yeah. Cool, right. The funny thing is, I'm not yet at that point where I'm putting in, a little, in the heavy detail. I'm nearly there, but I'm not quite there yet. So once I put in the heavy detail, that's when I really start to enjoy the process. These early stages, and you probably find this as well, particularly if you're a new artist or just beginning to learn, you'll probably find when you're doing this particular stage where you're constructing it and put it together, you get too eager to get into the detail of everything, but then you you go too. But if you go in too early, you end up just ruining your picture, or it just ends up not looking right. But if you're doing it, you know you're building up slowly. You can easily get bored when you're not seeing it develop the way you want it to develop. But you've just got to be patient and wait for that time intensify your your artwork or start to really get into a stage where you're actually doing something called automatic drawing. So I don't know if you've heard of that. And what automatic drawing is where um, you basically you, you get to a point in the, in the artwork where, you, where the pencil is almost leading you where to go. As you're doing it, you're seeing things you're thinking, oh I need to go this way, I need to do this part, I need to design that and this and the other. And that's kind of where you want to get to. You're going to get to the point where the drawing effectively draws itself. So what I'm doing now is I'm starting to really straighten up lines and, and build this area up, this, this um, plant up a little bit more. I'm going to go back again, like I said. And that was a bit of a cop I have in the cat over there, but. I just didn't want to do a cat and make it look awful.
You can tell I'm starting to get into it a bit as well. And when I start going silent, so that's when I start to um, focus. So here's my um, foreground one. And this is the foreground. I'm going to try and make the, um, the panels look a bit more obvious. This would be built in different, in different bricks, different panels. But obviously, the further away you see it, the less like you can actually see the, the actual piece of them. So I'm just being very, very useful. Hopefully, you can see it developing now. As I mentioned, now now I'm kind of getting into it a bit more. I'm starting to add a little bit more detail, a little bit more accuracy on, on, on different bits and pieces of this. I'm trying to make it fit together. Okay, here we go. As I said, with pencils, one thing I find is they're quite scratchy. I think that's what I don't particularly like about them. It's, just, it's not as pleasant an experience as I would like it to be. Okay. All right. It's definitely starting to, you know, take some shape here. And I never thought in a million years we'd go in a nuclear nuclear power plant. All right, let's do this last tree here. And then we'll take it up the stage. Okay, so we're coming up to the hour mark. So <clears throat> I don't know how long I'll be going for this, but um, what I might do is if, once, if I don't finish this today, I will come on and finish this another time.
and I might even leave it however I finish it today. All right, so what's the next one up? Uh, the next one up is the H. I think I'm going to make this the last level. Um, this is my F pencil. You can see that. This is the F pencil. So I'm going to make this my last level, and then I'll call it a day. But I uh, just want to say thank you very much for watching. Uh, if, you, if you are new to my channel and you're enjoying this, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. I've got um, a few things coming out. I've got a, a few Harry Potter um, Lego builds to still come through. I've got uh, the full-length version of the Bob, um, the Bumblebee uh, model that I made. But I say model, it's like a cardboard cutout model that I made, uh, did the speed out last week. And I've got some future videos coming out soon, which are primarily Lego-based for the initial, the initial one that I'm editing at the moment, with a couple of bigger builds coming through. And then a few art videos later on. But um, I'll let you know a bit more closer to the time what those videos are. And let's see if we can let's see if we can't make this a bit more I'm gonna try and add some additional detail. And this pencil is very soft. Almost to the point where I'm thinking, I oh, wish I'd use this one first, but well, here's what it is. Oops, Pull that in a bit. So this is where I can start to really think about making it look more accurate and fixing things that I hadn't fixed in the rough stages because now I'm starting to refine it. It's just the line for the different bricks inside it. And this also helps with um, uh, what's the word? That's just helping with the 3D, 3D shape. It's round about there, it's going to be straight. So it's going to be a straight line. So round about there, it's going to be straight line, but everything else is going to be curved. Either curved that direction or curved that direction. But as it gets closer to the centre, the curvature just softens a bit, and not quite so intense. And then it reverses. Okay, so it's the first tower. It's true in there. Now you might notice I'm going a bit quicker this time. There's a recent point where I'm more I've got the picture down now, so I don't need to. I know where things are going, I know where things are fitting, so I can afford to be a little bit more lax. With the detailing. You can also make it kind of stand out more as well, make it show, you know. So let's put a bit of shadow on shading on here as well. Nothing too drastic. Let's 
Just add a bit of 3D on it. I might as well do the other tree, get out of the way. I think the trees are the bits I'm not enjoying the most, I have to be honest. I mean, they're important, but I'm not enjoying that process of doing trees at the moment. And it might just be that the trees don't quite look the way I want them to look. Maybe that's what it is, I don't know. But I'm not fired up about the trees right now. Yeah. I'm thinking of this base because it looks a bit wrong for some reason. Okay, so the dome next. Sorry, I'm a bit, a bit silent. I apologize. As I said, I get to that point where when I'm starting to add the X, you know, like the really fine detail, I'm starting to slowly enjoying the process. Because it doesn't, it's not always immediately uh, get to that point, unless the, unless it's a particular drawing I want to do. But sometimes when I get to the beginning of drawing, it's not always the enjoyable part of the process. It's just. Um, the early stages and it's not they're not always the most encouraging there's things you know it's just white paper and scratches but once it starts developing that's when it becomes more interesting i start so i think i think because i'm a detailed person um it's when i start putting physical detail in the refined detail is when i start to really get my stride and start to really enjoy the process and I'm just getting to that stage where I'm starting to enjoy the process but but we've been streaming for an hour so you know I need to consider taking a, taking a small break Steps in.
It's asking where we like look to it. You know, we are igloos. It's not meant to be an igloo, but it just looks a bit like one. I'm determined to at least get this relatively finished, even if I don't finish it completely, so that you can see how it looks. I mean, that's how it looks so far. I don't know how well you can see that. Let's try and get into shot. But. So that's what it looks like so far. So it's starting to get there, but you can see. That, I, mean, I can even see there's a bit of depth there. You know, in fact, let me just um, just have that a little bit. See how there's a little bit more, it's a bit more 3D element, elements coming into there, coming into play. Okay, cool. I feel like I'm kind of rushing this bit up in there. But I'm at that stage where I can I can afford to do that. Whereas earlier on I couldn't really do that at that stage. <clears throat> That's if I haven't done any um little things. This always reminds me of uh, Wolverine Origins. There's a fight with um, Deadpool on top of the um, towers. Yeah, I'm just going to put some light lines on this one. Um, I am starting to feel like this is a good place to stop. So I will be stopping shortly. Even though I'm starting to get to the detail of it, streaming is quite, can be quite taxing. In case you don't know. <laughs> As I said, this one I kind of get to a point where I put enough detail on it that it looks okay.
just a moment, I could make sure that you can see what I'm doing. That's one now. So, I hope you're all doing well. So, I know I'm, I'm in sight, I get into silent mode when I get really into details. I think that's when I kind of switch off and just go straight into full design mode. So I can usually talk and chat at the same time, but there's certain moments where I'm just so focused that I'm always thinking about people on, you know, in chat or whatever. So you can see that there's all the houses there. I say the houses, not all the houses. They're probably like the factory. There. Also, it's not very good to sit down for too long. You need to move around every so often. Okay, so foreground funnel. I'm just flipping this up so I can get this angle right like, because it's easier to get it from the up this side than the other side. So. Now here I've just added a bit of a crack on the top of it, just as a bit of wear and tear. And the idea of being a bit of steam just slightly coming out there. And then a smoke here. Some spinach or whatever. Okay. This is where they'll tell you know what I saw about the uh, split um, image that comes into play. So it helps just keep slightly more even, even you know, divisions. Long panels. Right, the power plant is starting to definitely, definitely take some shape.
with the smooth corrugated iron. Some sort of shifting. Let's put a little fire escape on here. Uh, I know it's having any windows on here, so I'm going to do that now. Some windows on the side. Just put a couple on the side. A couple here. Right. Okay, so I'm just going to face these last two bits off, and then I'm going to call it call it a, call it a day. Right, okay, you can stop any moment. Because I'll be honest, I am starting to get a little tired. Not bored, just, just tired. All right. All right, folks. I think I'm going to stop there. This has been this has been fun. Um, it's been an interesting project. I wouldn't have thought I would have done. Um, so I'll see to show you. I wouldn't have thought I would have done some nuclear plant. Uh, definitely, definitely, you can more in a bit more detail. Maybe, maybe as I go through it, I might come back to this and start to develop it. So I'll tell you what I'll do. Here's what I'll do: is when I hit seventy, the seventy mark, I'm going to come back to this and do the next stage of the of the detail on it, and I'll have a think about what I'm going to put in the background. And I think I'll make this into a big sketch. So this will be a full sketch piece. But um, I think for now, this is this is enough for now. Um, it has been fun. And again, thank you so much for everybody that's commented, um, shared my videos, clicked on the subscribe button. If you haven't already, don't forget to do that. Button's somewhere down below there, wherever. <laughs> um, so you don't miss out on future videos like this. Um, there will be more interest in this one. <laughs> um, I do, because I'm more of a sci-fi person generally. I like doing sci-fi stuff. And the monkey one I did previous to this, not the space one, was really good as well. That, that was well. That was more, more, I'm more of a sci-fi. And maybe that's what I should have done. Maybe I should have made this a futuristic one. Maybe I could still turn it into futuristic. If there is a question, let me know in the comments below. Should I make this a futuristic? What I've done with this, on the next time I do this, should I turn this into a futuristic looking um, uh, scene with, with a, you know, a space that's flying around and more kind of connections and things like that? Let me know. Should, should I make it sci-fi or should I just keep it as it is uh, and just sketch it out? So let me know. But um, thanks again, everybody that's enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you like it. And um, I will catch you later. Thank you very much and good night.